Hello, welcome to this edition of Global Business on CDTN. I'm Chen Junfeng. First up, Chinese President Xi Jinping has arrived in India for meetings with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It's Xi Jinping's first overseas trip after the country's National Day holiday, and it's aimed at boosting the two countries' ties. Let's take a look. Chinese President Xi Jinping arrived in the southern Indian city of Chennai on Friday. He departed immediately for Mamarapuram, a historic temple town in southern India's Tamil Nadu state. Preparations are underway in Maramapuram on Friday, both on streets, schoolyards, and even local students' faces. This is Xi's second informal meeting with Modi. The two leaders held their first informal meeting last April in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, which the Chinese ambassador to India says bring bilateral relations to a whole new level. President Xi and Prime Minister Modi met five times on multiple occasions and reiterated their goal to stick to the fundamental judgment that China and India offer each other chances for development and pose no threat to each other. Further impact of the bilateral meeting, not only for China and India but also for the world, is the focus of attention. Maybe you know we would be able to understand each other better. We would be able to appreciate our civilization better. Development better, and then once this is understood, maybe you know it would be easier for us to come together for common development, for common security, you know, for mutual prosperity. Not only you know uh, just uh, limited to India and China, but maybe the region and the world at large. And I think it's a very good environment in which uh, President Xi Jinping is arriving in India today. They are also among the largest economies, and they are growing very rapidly. And I think two will have a great brainstorming session as to what they can do together to contribute to the human future. So President Xi Jinping's visit to India is greatly welcome by the entire nation. The two leaders are expected to discuss key issues, including strengthening regional connectivity as well as economic and trade cooperation. She will visit India for two days before he pays a state visit to Nepal. Watching CGTN.